There's something very going on about this Baltimore bridge collapse. I'm going to show you some videos and you let me know what you think. Every single point, I'm going to do it again. So you have here, 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 charges. And I'm going to slow it down for you so you can see it right there. We have one going off and then we have another one right there going off. This kind of reminds me of a day back in September 2001. What do you guys think? That doesn't look like no accident to me. And then we have this boat. I'm going to speed this one up for you. Watch this thing. This doesn't look like an accident. This looks incredibly intentional. Just backs it right in. I mean, you just wanted to help out the first step and complete the process. Yep, there we go. It's going down. Unbelievable what's going on. And no surprises because uh, the mayor wants to turn this into a smart city. Yep, he issued an executive order designed to govern the use of development of artificial intelligence. And you know how much they love their symbolism and secret messages. So what better bridge than the Baltimore Francis Scott Key Bridge? Because after all, he was the one who penned the Star Spangled Banner. And so uh, their messages were taken down the old America. By now you're all familiar with this incident that took place last night, a very unfortunate one. And we pray for the families of those people. But Joe Biden just said something that makes no sense at all. My intention that federal government will pay for the entire cost of reconstructing that bridge. Doesn't the boat have an insurance company that will pay for stuff like this? My intention that federal government will pay for the entire cost of reconstructing that bridge. Why? Why are we paying for this? You said that federal government's also going to pay for the repairs. I'm just curious. This was a ship that appears to be at fault. Is there any reason to believe that the company behind the ship should be held responsible? And then also, you mentioned that people were not going to wait for that. But I'm not allowed to say that something seems rotten here. My apologies in advance, but you can't tell me that this looks like an accident. I mean, take a look at the angle in which it takes in order to hit that bridge. Now, I decided to ask artificial intelligence program called Copilot from Microsoft Bing's search engine what the effects of this bridge collapse will have on the economy and the surrounding areas and the answers should be very alarming but also not surprising check this out an average of 4900 trucks per day carry 28 billion dollars worth of goods those are now going to need to be rerouted due to the bridge collapse and the greatest impact is expected on hazardous materials such as diesel fuel and we're already having problems with gas prices this is only going to make things worse and set things back as it pertains to gas prices but there's more of course the bridge plays a crucial role in the nation's infrastructure and the supply chain the disruption is going to have long-lasting effects baltimore serves as the largest entry point in the u.s for large agriculture and construction equipment, including tractors, farming combines, bulldozers, and heavy duty trucks bound for the Midwest, the farmland of America. Let's visit that now. Because this collapse comes just during the peak of planting season in the Midwest, and once again, it's gonna affect the farming and the food. Additionally, construction activities also pick up in colder climates as the ground thaws. The economic impact extends beyond immediate costs, potentially affecting businesses, jobs, and regional stability. But there's more. The bridge's collapse affects the entire supply chain, including the movement of agricultural equipment, fertilizers, and other essential materials. Farmers may face challenges in receiving necessary supplies, leading to potential delays in planting, maintenance, and harvesting. The economic repercussions extend beyond immediate costs, potentially affecting crop yields, prices, and again, regional stability. I want to hear from you what you think about this. No, not this predictive programming, but I want to know what you think about this taking place last night 
and what it's going to do to the country moving forward. Share this video with everyone that you know. Just because we don't have tanks all around and missiles flying by and boots on the ground and guns going off doesn't mean that we're not at war. The war we're about to see on our own soil is not going to be a Saving Private Ryan movie. It's going to be attack of our infrastructure, bank account, the food that we eat. This, I'm afraid, is just an example of what's to come in the next few months getting closer to the election. And we like to call them black swan events. I mean, this bridge was not small. You're talking four lanes with a median. Pretty fucking big ass bridge. And it fell apart like it was glued toothpicks. Now that that's blocked, all of these people are going to suffer in Washington, D.C. and Maryland. I mean, that is a major infrastructure hit right there. Reports are saying that the power kept going on and off of this ship. But it did a full U-turn before this happened. And then, that's not a slight turn, that's a hard right. Gotta love replay. Could you imagine if they tried to pull a 9-11 in 2024 with our 4K phones, everybody recording? Not possible. Things gotta look like accidents like this. And who do you think is gonna get hired to rebuild that bridge for cheap? It's not gonna be U.S. citizens, right? It's only March. We have plenty of time for more accidents to come. You have got to be kidding me. Watch this. It literally turns directly into the pole. It turned directly into the bridge. You can't tell me that did not turn directly into the bridge. Talk about the bridge, the bridge that just went down. Yeah. Unfortunate, isn't it? The Every ship that travels in maritime has an AIS. AIS is like a GPS. It's like an autopilot for planes. And it warns of bridges, canals, sand barges, everything. So how come the bridge, the, the boat's AIS didn't activate? And there's no uh, traffic lights on the bridge. Every bridge tunnel has traffic lights for cars to illuminate the road and to illuminate for special vehicles that need to be deployed if uh, there's a car or a truck that's immobilized. Good morning, Rangy. And uh, so there's some things that are popping up in my head. And uh, I'm wondering if anybody else has some information they can add to this because that bridge was named after the guy who wrote the Star Spangled Banner. That's a really iconic thing. And it just happened at the foot of the attacks in Russia and the distraction of the P. Diddy account. So. Let's follow this story, let's follow the money, and let's follow the distraction of this whole thing. The key bridge sinking, the bridge is gone. The key bridge in Maryland has been destroyed by a container ship. It seems like a controlled demolition of our whole America.